Hey guys, welcome back to Watching Naughty Clay. Clay's Clay's amazing space comedy simulator extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and we have been on the LZ Alpha now for nearly a thousand and two hundred cycles. Ever since we got to four figures, it's really started to uh, to mess me up. Trying to say I'm, I'm used to having the the round rhythm of a uh, hundred and something, but you know we'll we'll get over that. One of the one of the many drawbacks of having a wide open base like we have that's been running for so so very long and when i left you guys last time we had a little bit of a problem down here as you can see we are building up too much water in our liquid reservoir but i think there's an easy way to solve that if you have a look the temperature shift plate up here is about 20 degrees too hot so i'm going to come over here and i'm going to take about 20 degrees off of that and hopefully this should mean that all the water gets pulled down there i don't know whether this is going to be a permanent or a short-term solution we will find out another problem from last time that we had uh, turns out I did not do my maths very well who would have thought if I have a look at this automation no not the automation wire just the uh, the power wire thank you you can see that the current load is uh, you can see that the current load or the current uh, potential load is 1920 uh, and we're gonna go and try and add on this extra 120 watts here but if, if we just do a little bit of maths quick that actually takes it up to 2040 just a little bit over the 2000 so we're actually going to stop this building process in its tracks are we going to replace this with a bunker door yeah i think uh, not bunker door uh, bunker tiles yes i think we are we're going to do that also what is this we got some iron ore just randomly formed here. I'm not sure how that's happened. As far as I was aware, the only way this could happen is if you um, liquefy iron and then rethaw it or liquefy the iron ore. But that that's a little bit unfeasible given that the melting point is over uh, 15,000 uh, 1500 degrees. Wow, me and numbers today. <laughs> I think we're just gonna just gonna cut those out. What is today's actual goal? Well, you may remember that we are struggling with waters. Yes, and if we come over to the bristle blossom over here, bristle blossom over here and press the F6, you can see that the water pipes are just kind of out, just kind of empty. And I think the main problem here is actually one of a distribution. Uh, I, I, I would like to say, hey, we're running out of water, I don't know what to do with it. But actually what's happening is we're using our really chilled water here to kind of throw that down uh, into the uh, the bristle blossoms. But it's also going off to the electrolyzers over here where the 28 degree water is being turned into, oh, well, it's actually being turned into 70 degree high, uh, oxygen, but because everything's nice and chill around here, it's not actually that much. Uh, one thing that I do want to point out is that I've got 16 degree water going through this base. Uh, it's actually quite quite a bit cooler uh, when it comes in, but obviously that's picking up the water. So we could we could pump hotter water in here if it wasn't for this little bit of neutronium, but that's all right. We can deal with that. So we could pump hotter water just into the electrolyzer. But where would I get where would I get hotter water from? I mean, if if only there was something that I'd been ignoring the entire fight through this playthrough and only really realized was I was properly thinking about this. I've got a water geyser just over here. It's been there all 1,200 cycles and I've just I've just ignored it. I, I don't ask me why. Some, something in my head just went, no, oh, we don't need to worry about that. Let's, let's make a steel one down here. Uh, so I want to try and get this down to 70 degree water and then pump it up to the electrolyzer. Chilling it down any further than that is a waste of effort. And actually, maybe, maybe we could just throw in the 90 degree water. Should we give it? Should we just give it a go, just like this? We've we've got ourselves a steel pump. Uh, if I get an insulated uh, insulated uh, pipe out here, and I think I believe we can go up through here. There's a few problems, but these can all be fixed with. The bigger problem, though, is this little pipe network in the corner here. Let's try and sort this out quick. Oh, no, I was hoping, I was hoping that the liquid bridge would be able to get placed over the neutronium as it starts and stops. Uh, not in the neutronium, but it looks like that's not the case. Okay, we're going to have to try and work things out a little bit more um, thoughtfully then. <laughs> it's not a showstopper. It is a little awkward. <laughs> oh, guys, oh, guys, do you want to see a problem that's been running for a while? So over here, I've got this cooling loop that's been chilling down uh, the, the, the the bristle blossoms, just chilling down the base uh, in general. It's not amazing. It, it just leeches off some extra cold over here. But I've got this little um, overflow tap just to make sure it all stays full when I was uh, expanding the loops out. But let's, uh, let's follow this back a little bit, shall we? It comes down here. It's looking rather full, isn't it? And if we come down... Oh, what is this? I completely disconnected. It completely disconnected the hydrogen generators. That, um... 
Oh, that's an oversight, isn't it? <laughs> so a quick look over here. Everything seems to be going quite well. We've got a bit of a temperature problem now. We're about 10 degrees too low, so I'm going to turn this up. Let's go 165. I know that's only 5 degrees, but let's let's see what happens. Maybe we've just got through a, a cycle of cooling, uh, and the liquid reservoir is only about half full, so I think, I think that's fine. I think that's going to work out well. What's the temperature of the water in here, by the way? It's 74 degrees. I'm fairly sure that's going to be coming down as we watch it, because of course this aqua tuna here is uh, it, it busy turning that into more chilled water. But something over this way has caught my eye. Uh, this this is not, not the situation we want to have here. I've turned this up by 10 degrees because I don't think... Yeah, I, I, would, I would like this to be more full of petroleum. I don't know if you guys noticed, uh, this this had backed up a little while ago. And of course, we've got like 300 degrees coming in on, in on here. And I built both these oil pumps out of lead. Uh, they both melted. Uh, I, I believe I believe this is one of them right here. <laughs> so <laughs> there's, a, there's another load over here. At some point, we're going to have to try and get the molten lead out of here. I mean, it floats on top, so I'm not sure if we do need to try and get it out. But we do need to build another one of the oil pumps in a slightly more robust manner. See, now I'm like, do I, do I build it down low so it, uh, when it tops up, uh, will any, any problems that happen will happen quickly? Or do I put it up here so when any problems happen, they're quite catastrophic and fill it? Let, let's put it down below. I think down below would be a good winner. <laughs> Made out of steel, so it shouldn't, shouldn't melt this time. <laughs> While the duplicates are going through and putting in this pipe work over here, I want to perform an experiment. Wise, the man himself, asked if we could have a colony du uh, a duplicate named after him. And of course, he is the uh, a patron, so I'm going to let that happen. But you might have noticed that the, uh, the swanky new hotel rooms are all full. Now, we could kick out one of the people that are not patrons and uh, and put wise in there and that that, that is possibly going to be what how this experiment ends but i want to try and bring someone in to do something different let's have a quick look here i don't think we want biohazardous yokel for him uh, squeamish doc, can't do a doctrine errant if you know wise you know he doesn't want that one uh, this guy can actually like do doctoring so we're probably going to take him uh, but he's got no taste diver's lung he's unconstructive uh, you know what i'm going to do we're going to have wild wild Yes, indeed. And we're going to come in here. We're not going to give him any jobs at all. I'm going to come to the priorities. Hey, Wild Wise, down the bottom here. I'm just going to turn everything off. And I want to know what he does. He, there's no there's no real beds for him. He doesn't have an atmosphere, atmosphere suit. Uh, he, he's just... His one job is to keep himself alive. So let, let's see how he deals with it. Look, he's off. He's, he's going to go do things. What is he going to do? He's going to disinfect something. Good work, mate. Now, there are plenty of oxygenated areas for him to survive in, and I think we're not overly... Oh, some of these... Are, the base the base is about 40 degrees. Uh, maybe, maybe maybe he's actually got the, the good uh, the good uh, side of this deal. I mean, over here, this is this is like 40 degrees as well. There's some nice beds up here, about 20 degrees. I think I think he's probably going to stay in one of these. Oh, Wise has not been assigned yet. Uh, yeah, he'll probably end up in one of these top ones over here, as it is indeed the cooler area. But uh, who knows? Who knows what he'll He'll do. I, I just, I want to set him free in the world. Let him do what he wants to do, and uh, that should be what he's. He's going to store some polluted dirt. Good work, man. Good work. He look, he looks to like really care for creatures. That's, that's nice. All right, he's immediately gone and got himself into some hot trouble. So let's uh, restrict him out of the hot zone. Uh, we probably actually want to keep him up top somehow. The problem is we've got lo long lines like this where we can't stop him going. Uh, so ho hopefully there'll be no reason for him to be here. Go on, wise. Be, be safe. Be safe. Uh, maybe we'll put him straight into hospital to get him fixed back up. <laughs> Though, honestly, I think... I think we should have done that a long time ago for a lot of people. Let's go up and have a look. No, it's just wise. Okay, let's make him safe. Okay, it's time to put my money where my mouth is. I've got a new uh, water inlet system here because I've just watched an entire packet of water come down from this cooling system up the top here. Let's see how far away we are from this happening again. Very long way by the looks of it. Uh, but I've just watched it... Ooh, I, I keep doing that. Uh, I've watched an entire packet come down this way, an entire, like, pipe's worth. It actually managed to back up all the way down to here when it came through. But, of course, that was going, as you can see, into here. Uh, so that, that was getting used unwisely. But here we go. This is all being built. Uh, I've got to put a hydro sensor in so that we're not just, like, trying to pump tiny amounts. Like, we need, we need entire packets coming through, right? And another thing that I'm doing is I'm slowly bringing the heavy wire in and across this way so I can have a transformer station in here so that we can power up all of this from that. 
I've got a weird system here. The uh, the security door refuses to submit a bioscan. If we get Wild Wise, because he's not wearing an, uh, an exosuit, and I've got a feeling... Well, I've, I've just got a hunch that that's something to do with it. But let's get Wild Wise down here and see if he can submit the bioscan. It says it's unreachable to him as well, though, so I'm not... I'm not overly certain. Oh, I've lost it. Here it is. <laughs> okay, here he is. Let's see. Aaron's wise unreachable. It's it's literally there. Do I need to be on the other side of it? Oh, I don't want to break the abyssalite. Maybe in through the roof. <laughs> okay, I kind of feel terrible about setting that up, but let's see. Don't realize that the power output from these guys isn't quite enough. And we've got a little bit of a backlog going. So we could probably be squeezing more, put more petroleum out of this. So I'm going to try hooking up another transformer here and let's let's see if it just kills us okay now we find out whether it is the other side still unreachable i don't i don't know what the problem is i just don't know what the problem is it reckons this is unreachable as well but there's a ladder right above it uh, i'm gonna put these two in see if that helps like right, would this also help i don't know we'll try we'll try okay so that's opened up this ladder build what about over here yes finally okay cool cool a little awkward, but we got around it. All right, Mimi's going to give the bioscan. Yep, open it up. Finally, we can get through that. Okay, what I actually wanted to do with this area, heavy what wire, pop that down there. Join plate, oh, of course. Going to take these ladders out because they're just... I don't know. <laughs> they're, just, they're just how we broke up, broke our way into there. We, of course, need to have... I'm going to go with just one of these little power transformers. I don't think we're going to need anything more, uh, more substantial than that. And I don't think we're going to need anything more substantial than gold amalgam either. Okay, this should be this water cool enough. Yes, indeed, it is pumping away. Let's go see how well it goes with the new distribution device. Uh, it's going to be interesting. Hopefully, we don't back up at all. That's That would be very bad. <laughs> Okay, it makes it down here at 26. It's picked up a couple of degrees through the travel, but that's all right. If it gets really bad, we can definitely uh, put uh, an insulated pipe down. But my, my, my real question is whether this is all going to fill up before it stops flowing. That's, that's what I really want to know. Are we going to have excess for the base? Okay, we're already at the point where this one is full. You can follow the uh, the trace of the full bubbles coming back. As you can see, it's only passing little bits down. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Okay, it's uh, it's going well, but it's not going perfect. Oh, look, we've got this little, like, trickle coming out of here. Ah, in fact, we're, we're only halfway through the water. Ah, but of course, that is when it then throws all the uh, all the liquids on top and we are chilling down again. What's the, uh, what's the actual temperature it spikes up to? Because uh, obviously, it's about 70 degrees, 80 degrees on that side, and it comes through at 45. So that's when it mi gets mixed with the cold water that was already there. I'm, I'm happy to accept that. The real question is... Ooh, will the autosave ever let me finish a sentence? The real question is whether it's enough uh, whether by the time it then cools down for the next one there's still going to be some water in here honestly i don't think we need this much bristle blossom i reckon we could probably cut it off about here uh and it would be fine but you know we'll we'll, we'll see what's up no, i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it i'm going to no no that's not what i wanted to do i'm going to grab my snip tools here uh and i'm going to cut there we're going to abandon the top two rows of bristle blossom it'll look a little bit funny but that'll be fine Okay, with all that in place, how are they doing down here? We've just got a little bit of conductive wire going in. We've got some full smart batteries. I suppose it's time to start digging out stuff up here. I believe it's this one we've got to leave in place, so let's take those two out as well. Can people not climb up? Hmm, okay. I'm cursed. I am just cursed. We spent all this time sorting this out. 52 cycles it's, uh, it's dormant for. 52 cycles. Ah, oh, this game hates me. God, not only that, but we've got a big problem here. And the big problem is I didn't set this right up. Uh, I, it re this should be 200. It should be above 200. And look, that's turning on the steam turbine now. I, I actually need to now put this to 100. Uh, we need to cool this down as much as possible. We need to crack this open, get in there, refill it with water, which shouldn't be the biggest problem. We've got a water in pipe there. We should be able to feed in some water from elsewhere, but it would definitely would have been preferable not to have this. We're going to have to uh, break down this steam turbine. Oh, it's it's going to get bad. First thing we need to do is to cut this line so we can stop the ethanol going through the hot zone. The hot zone is going to be increasingly hot, so let's try and stop that being uh, so... 
Uh, I need to get people down here as quick as possible. We also wanted to deconstruct this. That is the top priority. Who is on it? Uh, Mad Frank is like, oh, we've, we've got the morning, the morning downtime that we're dealing with over here. Of course, people are just taking their little time out, getting some food. Uh, I decided to move it to morning because everybody's in their beds at that time, or at least in the in the area. Whereas in the evening, people are generally traveling home from work, right? So they don't they don't get to to do the nice stuff that they need to do. So I'm allowing them to do that in the morning. We're gonna turn this like stupidly far up as well, so we don't pump too much more hydrogen into here. Hopefully the bulk of the hydrogen that is in here will keep this down at a reasonable temperature. Okay, I've had to reconnect the, uh, the, the ethanol because this guy's not been able to keep cool enough to bring the steam down to a, to a reasonable temperature. I need to do that because as you can see, 290 degrees, 300 kilograms of 290 degree steam would just be too much to let out. Oh no, look, of course this would be a problem. I didn't think about this, but yes, it is a side effect. Oh, and this is very quickly gone wrong. Well, so whilst we let that do its thing, let's go and check in with Wild Y, shall we? Okay, he's running around. He's being free. He seems to be doing okay getting food. Oh, he's taking the rotten food uh, over to deal with the poke shells over here. Oh, he seems to have defaulted down into looking after these guys. That's, that's quite nice. That's quite nice. If you're wondering, he's now sleeping here. Okay, that's that's really cool. We should, we should probably put some uh, oxygen through here at some point. It would, it would be very helpful. At some point, I'm going to have to very much admit defeat and say that this place... I don't know, the hydrogen has kind of settled out to 44. Maybe we could use the hydrogen itself as a heat sink. I was a little bit worried that we're actually going to bring the uh, the temperature up too much to start vaporizing the ethanol in the pipes. That would be that would be bad, as I'm sure you can imagine. Uh, but it looks like maybe, maybe we're going to get there. We brought it down 100 degrees so far. And as you can see, I've made a little bit of an ethanol tank over here. This one wants to be switched to uh, accept ethanol, of course. So we can put back everything that we have lost and mopped up here. Okay, the fact that the hydrogen vent hasn't considered itself over pressure means it's going to be adding a bit more temperature to the situation here. Uh, we can only hope that it keeps down low enough though. I wonder if we could usurp the water out of here. Should we try it? I think I think we shall. Let's make ourselves a tank over this side. There's a bunch of ethanol everywhere, but we'll, we'll try it. We'll try it. Okay, this is where we're going to have to pull the plug. We're up to 50 degrees on the ethanol. I am not about that. Okay, so instead of pumping the water back in, we're going to just take it straight out and remove it from the system. Hopefully causing the entire contents of this condensed down into hot but not too hot water. I mean, we've got all the all the rocks and stuff around here. They're about one degree, so this is probably going to end up very hot, but we'll see. I love that this stuttering broken thing is actually making us a considerable amount of power that gets pumped out every now and then. Uh, we're just pumping enough water by it to try and chill it down enough to, uh, to keep pumping the water out. But at this rate, it is certainly going to take some time. Another problem that I've noticed is all the way up here. Have you noticed that this is also dormant? Oh my gosh, this means we've got practically no water flowing through here. So I'm feeling like we need to make this a lot better. I don't know about you guys, I think we can definitely definitely do that here basically following the same uh, the same plan that we've got here remember to set the thermo sensor up uh, and use this as a little cooling device for the water underneath and maybe we can get a little bit more water flowing for us here following wise around for a little bit he looks like he's just being very helpful with, like food supply making sure the water's there moving the bleach sp uh, stone that moves car uh, ca chlorine around well couldn't, couldn't deal with chlorine it turns out yeah just very much being a very helpful guy well done wise so I feel with the steam vent being dormant and of course the water vent over that way also being dormant, I feel like we kind of need to spice this area up over here, make it a little bit more efficient. As you can see, we're just kind of passing this through in front of the thermal anti-nullifier, blah de blah But I reckon we could fit, look, the, the, we could definitely fit a thermal aqua tuner in this corner here. But we have a problem. I don't know if you can see our steel supply is running low once again. Uh, and why? Let's come over here and we have a look. And we are running out of lime. Okay, so lime gets dealt with at the top here we've got a, a little conveyor line connecting the two uh, and we just don't have any source of lime it turns out more importantly we don't have any fossil now i happen to know where we can get some fossil from in fact just under here look there's a whole bunch of fossil just down here ready to go more importantly there's even some diamond hey let's try and go in there and grab all of this ideally without over superheating the area uh we'll try that how hot does it get down this way 173 that's not too much that's that's actually hotter in here beautiful 
Oh, go Miss Go, making us some fossil. This fossil, of course, we're gonna crunch up for lime, as I previously stated, and we are gonna make ourselves some more steel. I wonder if that lead's gonna melt. That'd be hilarious. It's a real community process. Miss and Lime came down and dug it up, as I showed you a second ago, and now Jelly's coming along to pick up the fossil to take it to the fabrication site. Arriving just before daytime, but, uh, the nighttime, sorry, but Mimi already turning it into lime. I wonder if that means we've got any on our shipping channel yet. Oh, no, it goes over here, sorry. Uh, no. <laughs> Well, it's been quite the epic, something like 10 cycles, it'd probably say like 7 cycles actually, but we're currently watching Dr. Captain Subs walk around and put the water in the bottle emptier so we can start filling up this area underneath. Uh, that, that's been going really well, but I would like to come over here and have a look and see how we're doing. As you can see, we are starting, oh, 21 kilos. This is almost the point where we can just let it free. Of course, with the fact that this is just like... 500 grams out here. I'd like to get it down a little bit more. If we could get, like, I don't know, down to a kilo or so, I think it would be then A-OK -okay to go. But the next step that I want to do over here, I want to pull out the F6, and I want to start moving this ethanol over into this tank over here. So we can start thinking about how we're going to get the whole line going around. I think that is going to be the first thing that changes, this liquid bridge down here. And, of course, try and figure out where this line will go. I think I want to come out of here down, up, down, you, you know, do a, do a little back and forth here before going in and through the aqua tuna that way we'll be able to also know whether we are over over stressing the system or not if the temperature that it comes out is not the same like if we pick up more temperature here then we can scrub if we pick up more than 14 degrees that's the one to look out for then we will have ourselves a bit of a problem because we won't be able to move the heat in time right we won't be able to get rid of it I've gone as far as making a second grill up here because whilst I was just watching around, I noticed that we had the situation where whilst uh, Shroudskus was doing the cooking, people weren't doing the delivering. So Shroudskus was just running off and doing whatever it was he wanted to do in the meantime, which, you know, that's all cool and great, but I prefer he won't bounce from one grill to another. Uh, so whilst he's cooking on one, someone can make the delivery to the other and keep the whole food process going. As you can see, we're up to like triple figures in the food now. Might actually be a little bit too much. <laughs> quite interesting obviously we've been stealing one half every time the loop goes round because one comes in and then the next one goes forward and then this way again you know it alternates each way uh but, but look, look how look how much we haven't been able to empty it but that, that's cool that's that's interesting i find it interesting anyway oh no what's going on over here stop 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 how do we get ethno out how did this happen new no. okay no problem no problem we'll just uh mop up the ethno Probably mop up the water as well, and we'll see what we have to do to deal with it. Ah, oh, this is terrible. Okay, we picked up the ethanol that was in the tank, but we do have... Oh, oh, who has got to be wise, right? I know, Brum. Brum, what are you doing down here? Like, seriously, oh, you're picking up some water, but man, really? <laughs> Okay, the important thing we want to do now is to move the ethanol out of here. Now, thankfully, I have a little ethanol up, the, a little ethanol drop-off, sorry, at the top here. Sweep only, so I'm going to hit the hit the big pa panic button. I'm going to do that on both of them, so hopefully we get someone on both sides coming along to pick up the ethanol that I've asked to be swept up. <laughs> Beautiful, there it all goes, there it all goes. Uh, I want to disable this one, I think. Let, let's turn these off for now. Uh, in fact, this one's probably going to end up getting ripped down in the long run. But let's do that and see if all of these can end up being uh, put up into here. Because uh, look, look, look at this. Look at this. Storage unavailable. Oh, of course, there's no salt water. That's why. I moved the salt water drop off that, that back down to here. But scolding. This is Brum again. Oh, man. Seriously. Go away. Okay, let's cap this before anything else goes wrong. Oh, hey, Luna coming in to empty out the, uh, the salt water. That's good. That's good. I'm, I'm fairly sure bottles of water could have stayed in there because as the temperature rises, they would have ended up vaporizing. Am I right? Am I wrong? I don't know. Nighttime has just been cool, but let's do a quick sanity check whilst we're here. So we have, pa oh, no, no, we have, we have automation. Uh, the automation is looking for ethanol above 20 degrees to turn on the thermal aqua tuna, and uh, anything above 200 degrees will turn on the steam turbine. They are good. We've got power. It will be coming in from here. Oh, in fact, we can uh, destruct that one whilst we're here. I'm going to pull the, the heavy watt wire down and across, uh, join up this connection here. We've got two kilowatts coming off to feed the thermal aqua tuna, and of course, any bleed over energy comes from the turbine. Okay, that is good. 
That is great. We need to try and break our way in through this mechanized airlock at some point. That's going to be nice and easy just with fiddling with the uh, fiddling with the temperature output here. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of a problem, the fact that it's going to open up all the way through, but I think in the time it takes us to fix all of this stuff inside, uh, I, will, I will just I will throw the, uh, the panic stations and, and hope that that works out for us. Another quick look at what's going on over here. Full of ethanol. What? Well, who cares how that happened? Uh, I mean, I kind of care how that happened, but not greatly. So I'm now going to deconstruct this as well in the morning, and we're going to crack through here and get, get empty out the ethanol, turns out, and uh, make our way inside. I did toy with the idea of a liquid lock, but because of the way I've kind of set this up, I think it would be very, very, very awkward. Okay, I'm going to hit above on here, and here comes Mad Frank, so I'm going to hit P0 and ask for these jobs down here to be the highest priority possible. It is literally a job of got to go, 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 complete with that, that, um, lead down below. If we, if we could pick that job up as well. How is there a bunch of stuff in- No, miss, what are you doing? Uh, no, okay, okay, I see what you've done. Now you need to move. <laughs> okay, that's everything dealt with. Swap that back round. Beautiful. How hot did it get in here? 40, 24. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. As long as it doesn't go above 70, we're all good, right? I can't help but feel that I have forgotten something very important from this process, but I can't figure out what it is. Uh, I'm sure someone's laughing at me right now. Be like, ha ha ha, I can see exactly, but uh, it's, it's got to be something, right? Okay, power flows and the battery is starting to charge. Okay, that's cool. It is jumping up. We have got plenty of excess power. I like that. I like that a lot. Steam turbine goes in. That is also good. Why? Uh, because we've got a little bit of pipe work that needs to go there. And then this should start to flow. Okay, okay. Uh, the rock is in. All right, let's see how this flows now. Uh, we're coming out at 32 degrees. We're going to go through this. So once we're through 32, we need to be lower than 32 over this side. That's the way it needs to work, right? Whatever temperature we're coming out of here, uh, it needs to... Oh, man, that is hot. That is hot. But it, ne it needs to be cooler, right? Let's let's see what we got. 30... Oh, man, we're, we're, cl we're, go we're climbing, sorry, by 5 degrees. I bet I can bring that down by making this a solid line of insulated pipes instead yeah e e even giving it time to settle down a little bit we're like two degrees out so let's go in override those and then once again above p9 i mean this is this is making it more awkward obviously because this is now uh, warming up and the temperature is passing through if we have a look here you can see a little warm front moving along what was that little blob of blue over there that must have been a, a small vacuum port opening up uh zero uh, p zero a vacuum port a, a vacuum tile i don't know whatever you want to call it okay i'm gonna leave that to settle down for a second let's go and see what's going on over this side okay we've even tidied up let's deconstruct that and deconstruct that and then we're just gonna deal with however this happens let's uh let's watch the gas overlay shall we i've got a feeling this is going to be interesting it pops up it's not that interesting, is it? It's not really doing much. <laughs> I mean, ideally, we want to fill this with water, right? So let's put that in place as well. A bottle, yeah, bottle emptier there. Uh, that'll get worked on. Okay, we've got some things over here, and we've got ethanol dropping down. But I think that's fine. That That's kind of to be expected, right? Uh, over here, I want to drop some salt water into here first. Oh, no, we've got people who shouldn't be in hot coming down into hot. There's not much I can do about that down here, unfortunately. They're just going to have to be quick. Why is this getting hotter? Why is my thermal aqua tuner getting hotter? What's going on here? There's nowhere for heat to be coming from, yet hotter it is getting. What? what? Um, m maybe these salts? I, d I actually don't know. Okay, let's see again. What's going to happen here? This this is bringing it down a little bit? No, it's going back up. Seriously, uh, insulated liquid pipe contents 145. What's that about? No, no none of these have got anything in them. What, why is the pipe so hot? <laughs> okay, so we're just about to have the first save of the day. Well, in fact, we've had the first save of the day. And because of that, I'm going to try something scary. There's a lot of um, hot stuff around there, and I don't know how to cool it down. So let's let's try this, shall we? Nothing is hotter than the, the ethanol's flash point other than this thermal aqua tuner. So let's see if anything happens from doing that. Okay, looks like we're good so far. I've turned this to uh, to never turn on, basically, the, the thermal aqua tuner for the moment anyway. I just want to get want to get some flow running so you can see like over here it's just it's not climbing too high so that's pretty cool i want to just 
keep getting water in there though. It's not working, and I don't know why. Yeah, should we should we just should we just seal it back up? I think we're gonna just seal this back up uh, and then run ourselves a pipeline back to here. Let's have a look and see how I did this. I think it was so I could just swap this around. Okay, I'm just gonna just gonna run a line off of here. It, it's horrible, but it'll work. So my plan is just to pour water in here until the ethanol stops being vaporized, or until the water stops vaporizing anyway, and then we can let the uh, the ethanol and chlorine out the side or something. I don't know. We'll have to figure out a way of dealing with it. And if there's not enough water here, we'll have to pour more water in somehow. Okay, so we're already straight up to steam. That's fine. Do we have some ethanol forming in the corner here? It's really hard to see. Okay, there is a little bit coming in there. What? 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 Oh, what's happened up here? Why? My, my door's not closed. Okay, that's a bit of a problem. Come and look down here. Why not? Why did the door not close? Aha, here we go. How? 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 Do you see this problem here? With iron ore again. Oh, big sweeps. Big sweeps. Okay, so which, which ones are like super high, gonna cause some troubles? Is that is that turned all our alarms off? I mean, I don't even know if this is what I want to do. Do I, do I want to put those on these three in the middle, on these guys in the middle? So when they break, I know. Yeah, maybe. Okay, there's about a kilogram of ethanol there. I think we can all see it. I'm gonna quickly just replace that tile. Let's see what happens. Maybe I should have replaced it for a different material. I suppose sedimentary is probably a bit closer. Let's do that. Let's also put this one off on a nine and tell Frank that that's what we want to fix. Is it going to let it through? Ah, uh, it was a little bit more than I would have liked, but it should now be all water inside here. Okay, yeah, that's great. Let's, uh, let's mop this up. <laughs> Okay, I've been waiting for a long time for this to fill up, so I'm going to try a different change of tactic. Over here, you can see that I have changed this uh, bottle of tea to salt water. Let's hope that getting some salt water is actually going to give us uh, a better covering. Oh, look, we've got the uh, pitcher pump here. Hmm. Okay, let's see how this works. We're going to pump a little up. It's not going to be much. There are full packets, though. That's pretty nice. Uh, Every now and then we manage to get a full 200 kilos getting dropped off. But the reason that I'm doing this is these top water tiles are only at 300. Uh, so if to, to overflow those would take about 2,000 uh, 2, kilograms of water to overflow. So that would take a very long time. So let's try and put some salt water underneath and see if that helps. Oh, it took long enough, but I think we're finally there. Uh, 18 cycles later. Well, not quite, but at least eight. <laughs> Over this side, I'm so flooded, I don't know what's going on. But I think we're going to have a little bit of an issue where this one is going to still be full when this says the temperature is fine. fine. Thus opening up and letting the temperature drift through. I think we need to have some sort of hydro sensor on this side, but the, the wiring underneath is not very conducive to said situation. I think, I think we can do it, though. I think we can do it. I don't know, actually. I don't know. It's this door that's awkward. <laughs> Okay, something like that. We've got a hydro sensor, we've got temperature. Comes down to an AND gate, which then pushes up into the same systems. Let's uh, dig our way under there. Okay, I think we're ready to say, hey, if you're above 200... No, if you're above minus 20, that's where we're taking the ethanol. Start chilling it down. Okay, cool. These really need to be uh, repaired a little bit quicker. Let's, uh, let's just pop them up a bit. The main one to keep an eye on, above 200, turns the steam turbine on. That's where we went wrong, wrong last time and broke everything. Do a little bit of tidy up, of course, because, of course, I broke everything over here as well. Who's scolding? What? Hey, Brum. No. So with the ward guys are still dormant and the steam guys are also still dormant, though soon to come back to us. I feel like we've done a good job going around and trying to improve our water situation. Obviously, this was a big, uh, big wild card. The uh, hydrogen vent just breaking down on us just because I didn't set things right. Should we go through and make sure that we've done this? 200, uh, if above 200, beautiful. And this one is if, if, if above minus 20. This is, of course, minus 20 is where we want the ethanol to be and 200 is where we want the steam to be. So that's pretty good. Everything that we've got wrong has been corrected. Over here at the salt water, you can see that I now have a dual input system coming through. As I said, the hydro sensor is uh, detecting whether we've got any water in here and the temperature is making sure that it's cold enough over here. When those two conditions are correct, these doors open up. But I think with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys the next time where, uh, I don't know, give me an idea. What, what do you think we should be heading towards now? Uh, I think we have, um, we, we've, we've all sort of got water sorted. Uh, there are a few places where we could probably improve some more. There's actually something up here that I found. And maybe that is actually what we'll be working on next time. But I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye. 
you think? Should this be my nature in nature reserve? Thank you. 